Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Justin Aplan is here. Thank you for tuning in to Faith the Facts. I hope this little five minute segment ministers to you. It's for your spiritual nutrition so you can be blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed going in and blessed going out. I want to talk about something today that a lot of people are very, very familiar with. It's called confession. I believe in confession 100%, but I want to talk about the other side of confession, possession both sides of the coin. Some people confess, but never possess. And if you're confessing the Word of God, then the Word of God, will pos the possession that you believe in for will come to pass. I want to give you a scripture. And that's Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 11. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, okay, that's confession, and shall believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, that's a fact, thou shalt be saved. That's the possession. You first confess, then you possess. First, you got to confess at your mouth, and then you possess with your heart. Let me read it again. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, that's what we're doing today, and shall believe in thy heart, that's an action to your confession, that yet God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So now there's your possession. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness, or right standing. And with the mouth, uh-oh, I don't feel righteous. Start confessing righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Salvation in its truest definition is soundness. For the scripture said, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Let's talk about that for a minute. How many times you confessed and confessed and confessed, never received and you felt ashamed about it and you quit confessing? Why, because it was a lack of faith? No, because you did not possess what you confessed. What may have happened is it could have been some doubt in it, or it could have been some unbelief, or, and I, I really think most of that, that, that can happen, but most of the time it doesn't. It's time. See, Satan says, if I can delay what they're believing for, they'll quit believing and they won't possess. So you keep confessing, and you may be so close to possessing this thing that all of a sudden you quit, boom, he said, we got it. Then you say, I ain't doing that confession stuff anymore because it doesn't work. It does work. Here's another scripture, Mark 11, verse 23. Well, verily I say unto you, now, forget about Jesse the planets and paint Jesus' face over me. Okay, I know that's kind of hard to do, but yeah, just paint it. This is Jesus is talking. Now, I, I, I'm going to talk like Jesus talked. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. Are you hearing Jesus talk to you? And shall not doubt in your heart. See, that's the action of it but believe those things which you say, which he say, it shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Confession, possession. You did it with salvation, why can't you do it with healing? You did it with healing, why can't you do it with finances? I'm not denying the bills, I'm not denying the sickness, I'm not denying going to hell. But when you believe with your heart and confess at your mouth that Jesus rose from the dead, you possess salvation. For with the heart, man believeth unto the righteous. Okay, let's go over to healing. By his stripes, I am healed. But I am sick. I'm not dealing with your am sick. You've heard me say it before. I'm dealing with your word healed. See, I want you to get to the possession part of the land. Think about that. I mean, you know, one of, one of the saddest statements in the world is when God tells Joshua, Joshua, you're an old man and you still have not possessed that land. Can I make an announcement? Do you know Israel right now, 2022, has still not possessed all the boundaries that God told them to do because of what other people think? When are we gonna stop believing what God says and other, instead of start saying and believing what other people think? See, you confess, you possess. When you understand that, first I confess that I would marry Kathy. And then way back, June the 6th, 1970, at 11 o'clock a.m. at Holy Rosary Catholic Church. That priest, we were, we were Catholic. Do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? Possession began to take right there. I said, I do. Until death do you part. Yes, I do. You see, do you see what I'm saying? It was an action of the heart, but then all of a sudden it became a possession of the mouth. And we've been married 52 years. Ain't that something? That's a miracle of God. Confess, 
and possess. Let me say it again, that whosoever, this is Jesus talking, forget Jesse, whosoever shall say to that mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea. Oh, I like that. Shall not doubt in your heart, believe those things which you say shall come to pass. You shall have whatsoever you say. That's Jesus talking to you as you read Mark 11, 23. I just quoted it today. So faith that fact, and guess what? Possession is coming to you today. See you later.